<laughs> hey, did um did Zeke? Yep, Zeke, Zeke, yeah. Zeke. Welcome, everyone. Um, this is another keeping it real um series that we are going to be doing, and I am here today with Zeke. I'm sorry for my sunglasses, but my eyes are still healing. I had an operation again two weeks ago. Um, so I have to use my sunglasses because of the glare and in order to get this uh, video um, completed properly. So my excuses, but at least we are back and I think next time we can do it without sunglasses. But today um, I have to wear my sunglasses for the glare, okay, because my eyes are still healing. I want to say thank you for each and every person to be here. Thank you. Um, for um, the um, warm support shares lights. Um, please remember um, to send in questions, what you need to answer and that sort of a thing. Um, we are going to be available. I'm going to be doing extra videos for the VIP. And I wanna to say to my VIP, thank you, thank you, thank you, VIPs. Um, um, it's amazing. Um, thank you guys. Uh, and I'm going to ask, um, each and every one of my VIPs, especially the super, super extended to send me your email. Um, every year I give away stuff this year. I'm getting packages where I'm creating packages, especially for my VIPs, because this is the first year that, uh, YouTube has brought out the series um, where we have VIPs um, that has monthly abandonment, uh, monthly, yeah, abandonment. And I am sending each and every one of my VIP a gift. I have been finding people who are making stuff, who are doing things, and I am going to be sharing with each and every one of my VIP members a gift that you're going to be receiving so that you can use it in this time. Um, that we're going through. Okay. So I want to say thanks to all my VIP member. It's amazing. I have been, it's just been blowing up. Remember to use the join button. That's the blue button. You become a VIP member. Um, we begin with the extended reading with a dollar 99. We go up to four 99 and then we go up to the super, super where they receive more extended thing. One reading per month can't help people and this is the reason why i'm so happy that youtube roll out this platform so you can become a, me a member join and become a member but it's like a, a one month abandonment you don't have to stay a lot of people um go and check out other people and they return thank you to all my returning business i've been doing this from last year i think it was about this time when youtube start rolling out the vips i want to say Thanks, um, you know, huge thanks to all of you. And uh, please send me your email, your um, address. Um, um, cause I'm giving away um, a gift. I think that when um, people give to you, you should also um, give back, okay? So that's what I'm doing. And one of my first favorite persons that I'm going to be doing it is um this is amazing story and it is um i'm sure my mom is in um evan really smiling down and uh, i want to um one of my gifts is going to be coming from um amanda bella okay and um this is um it is a super 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 story um 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 yeah bellacharms.com um and more bellacharms.com i will put the name of um the um uh dot com at the bottom but it is an amazing amazing and this is uh, um um it is just so funny so okay so Amor is um, amorbella.com charms is my little um, <laughs> okay. So it, it's a family member, and the whole story is that um, I remember when my mom called me and says, "Oh, is pregnant," and I was like, "No, she's not. I didn't even know she was having." Mm -mm -mm. 
And then, um, so my mom and I, I went to um, Florida for Christmas and we flew to New York to see my, um, my aunt. And um, the baby was born, so my little niece has a baby. And this is the baby, ladies and gentlemen. And she just turned 16 um, in the summer. And they were always supposed to come to Europe, never gets to come to Europe. And uh, I was blown away when I found out that baby, because we call her baby in the family because she's really the smallest. She has her own um, business. I was like, oh, Lord, entrepreneur is in the blood of us. So, um I said that I was going to do it with Zeke today um, because this is one of my gifts that I'm going to be giving out. And it is from AmorBellaCharm.com. And it is amazing because 2016, I went, I was in, um, that's when I come back to the States. And I went to my aunt and her, her daughter, because my aunt have one child, my mama have one child. So we we're very, very close. Our other um, um, cousin is in England. And she flew from England. I flew in a day before her. My partner and I flew in a day before her in New York. And we, sp we spent Christmas together. I returned and we got a party. It was my birthday around Christmas. So it was amazing. So Amor and I, we were dancing. We were doing everything. And we were so crazy. And I, I was talking to her mom. And her mom goes, but she hasn't. I was like, what? So ladies and gentlemen, um you know nothing can stop us i don't care what you people do but we are just entrepreneur we are educated people we're people who wants to share things with humanity um we share a lot and my family and i most of my family works in um you know um in the health um and you know this is something that is so amazing and if each and every person can teach their child to become um, an entrepreneur and I saw her there with the beats and the stuff and I was like uh, and she was like I oh, gave me a hand so I was giving her my hands and she was making stuff and she oh my god and I am proud I am so proud of you Amor I am just absolutely proud of you I love your mom like my sister and um, I, you're amazing you're so amazing because when we were there we drop her off at school and I'll go with my niece I love you so much. You're the last little young person in the family, but I'm so proud of you. You have done something to help the world. So one of my gifts that is going to be going out to a lot of people, um, it is from AmorBellaCharm.com. And uh, my little niece, I, I am so proud of you. It's unbelievable. I love you so much. I'm sending you a lot of love. I'm sorry you didn't get to come to Europe so we could go to Paris and have your 16th birthday. But whenever you're 18, I'm, I'm going to interview you. I love you so much. I think that this is an example for other people who are, um, you know, other um, mothers and kids that they can teach their kids to become entrepreneur. And of course, you could not be less because your grandmother, my mother, and all of us uh, have been some form of entrepreneur in our lives, especially your grandmother. I want to say to my aunt, I love you so much. I'm sorry I'm not there. Um, we can't wait. And to Carolyn, I love you so much. We had just a blast in Christmas. I just, I just want to drink champagne. We were getting up, but we had champagne at two o'clock in the afternoon. And I, I love you guys so much. And my best year since my mom has died was 2016 when I was in um, um, uh, New York with you guys. And you know, the thing about it is that. Uh, we have grown up together and uh, though every i went to um holland carolyn is in england we will never be apart from each other it's the love that we share her more um you are the baby of the family i love you so much i am so proud of you um for what you have done and i am going to be linking my channel with her channel so that you guys can get 10 percent off they are charm bracelets they're beautiful so go check out a more bellatcharm.com it's going to be one of my gifts that i'm going to be giving out um to you guys okay i love you so much all right zeke let's get yeah. in it yeah okay so zeke yep. it has been 
Absolutely, absolutely heavy energies, isn't it? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely um heavy. You have your volume? Uh what about now? Maybe I need to screw up. But definitely heavy energies hitting the planet. Oh yeah. Can you hear me? Tough. Oh, definitely heavy energies hitting the planet. Um, it seems like um we're going through another phase or another shift that um is either raising your vibrate is either raising your vibration to a higher level or it's kind of like um have you where you're you're uh not really um you're um glitching you're glitching in a sense to where you're not balanced to where you um any little thing can strike you like a fire match and you'll go off. Oh so, yeah. I have that. Yeah, it seems like <laughs> Seems like we're going through that that phase right now, and and just getting people balanced, um, working through emotions, working through you know they they call it the shadow self, you know, um, letting go of any past traumas, anything that's going to hold you back. I think that's kind of the phase that I'm seeing where I'm at. So, yeah. <clears throat> now, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, um, you know, I have been um realizing how the virus has been getting out of control and this is the second wave be ready because there's going to be a, ter a third wave that is coming in at the end of december and um you know what was happening is that i went back and check out my video in 2019 when i gave the prediction when i gave the prediction what they were showing me is china and for somehow they place on china but they were like showing me people wearing the space mask and they show me China. So that means the virus was going to be coming out of China because they showed me China. Um, and I was doing the video and they were showing me all the things that was going to be happening. And what we, what I said, and I went back and, re and reload and go back and listen to the video. So whoever have not seen that video, it is the video over what to expect in 20. Um, 2019 and it's a video where I'm wearing this beautiful red dress okay um, ladies and gentlemen this virus is getting out of control okay and uh, um, I want to advise each and each and every person do not wear those masks um, that is coming in from overseas make your own mask and wear them okay because they are tainted with the virus okay and listen to me if i can save a million people i'm saving a million people go find someone <laughs> who makes these um masks because the ones that is sold in the shops are tainted okay so i have no and i'm not giving any um, re a reclam a reclaimer for this. Uh, I am telling you to save a thousand and a million people. Go find people who makes these masks um, because this is um, what is happening. And this is why it is getting out of hand. Another thing is that um, we are on the lockdown in Holland for four weeks. We can't do anything um, because the virus is just spreading like wildfire here. And the thing about it is that um, it's happening all over the world. This second strain that is coming in is coming in very, very powerful. And it has to do with who you are, where, what um, frequency you are on, because you can, it can, that you can change um the um direction of this virus uh, and bring it back under control and all you have to say is i will put it down here your name full out loud i do not give a consent to um the covid virus 19 20 and 21 okay because now we're in the second um, stream of 2020. Okay. So we had COVID virus 19 in the month of March, and now we are having the strain of 20 at this moment. So mm. all you have to do is to call up your name fully out and said, I do not give consent to COVID virus 19, 20 or 21. Okay. You gather protect yourself and this is how you do it it's as easy and simply as that because it has to do with a form of spirituality um together especially the second and that is why a whole lot of people are having this second um um flow that is coming in is because uh, 
you need to understand that you um, have to stand up and said, I do not give consent. Okay. As you say, I do not give consent. I do not give consent to this COVID virus um, 19, 20, and 21. Make sure you do all three. You need to protect yourself. Frank, mm -hmm. so yep. how has it been um, in North Carolina? Um, it's, it's been a little weird in the sense that um, when it first hit, people were very like skittish. They didn't want to come around each other. They had their face masks on. Um, now that we're, now that we're in uh, October, we're in phase three, so people are starting to be able to go back to uh, movie theaters, open uh, restaurants, bars, but they're still very um, skittish or cautious. But they, they, a lot of people are not wearing the mask as much as they used to. Like, so you can go into a, a Walmart, for example, and when I when I when it first hit, everybody everybody in there now is just like people are choosing where they wear it. They put it a below the chin or under the nose. But um I don't think it's really uh like affecting our little uh, state or, or society in the sense that we, we see it um we see it out because people are very like laid back. What I am noticing is is the tension. Like people are very tense. People are are, are very like um ready to fight. They're almost like it's a couple people or my uh, employees I work with, they're, they're right around with um, weapons. You know, they're having weapons in their car. They're feeling um, insecure or not safe for whatever reason. So I'm seeing more of that than, than the virus, but the virus is still present. It's still real. Like you said, it's another, it's another, um, several attacks are coming and they're, they're, some of them are attached to the spiritual aspect of yeah. our biofield that where's that, you know, everybody's not aware of that, you know, if it attached to you, it can it could it could affect your physical, you know, vessel that we're we're having. So yeah, that's what I'm 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 seeing now. So yeah. because it is happening like all over the world. And the thing about it is that, especially um in Rotterdam, is that um um you know I, I was so grateful um because I got to to get my to do the second operation because it right. was too, my operation was twice for my eyes, right. and um, um, you know when I knew it was going to be first of October, and then it started to get really like a lot of people in Rotterdam is is having it. I um, we're not sure if the uh, burgomaster, we the senator, uh, um, if he has it, but he was like in car, he's going to go in quarantine or so. And um, the problem is that in Holland, we have, it, Holland is a very small country, so we have less, uh, um, less people, um, you know, because it's such a small country and the hospitals, and it's like the, the huge cities in um, ha Holland is having this virus and it's affecting like all of us. So like kids, um, they give it out like t two days ago or so, um, three years ago, that um, even kids from 13 years and older have to wear these uh, these masks now. So kids are back at school, but they still have to wear these masks. And um, it is very um, frightening for a lot of people, especially with us, because we're always out, we're always free, we're on the always on the bicycle. Right. Um, we can't go to Belgium. Um, mm -hmm. That sort of a situation. If you're not working in Belgium, we can't go. And Belgium is the adjoining country um, because we're on mainland Europe, and England is over the pond. Mm -hmm. So um, we are the the end person to mainland Europe. So Belgium and Germany is um, our borders. Okay, mm -hmm. and we can't go um, to Belgium if, if if you don't have any. If you're not doing anything, we can't go there to shop. I mean, right, Antwerp right. is uh, um, one of my best places that I go to shop, especially before uh, winter and the end of summer. And we can't go. And um, it is not about uh, um, that we are restricted. We are restricted. And I do understand because a lot of Dutch people are like, yeah, we need to get out. We need to be who we are because, yeah, Dutch is a fry liberal country. Right. We are free to do what we want to do. And right. right at this moment, what is happening is that, you know, we have to really, really, each and every person, everything is closed at 8 o'clock. Uh, um, we are really, really under a shutdown and we have to do that. Um, if we don't do that, we don't have the hospital in order um, to 
accommodate all of these six people and i think that um one of the best thing that um and this is what a lot of people are not aware of is that holland um have invented a lot of things from the tv player name it holland has uh, um, um invented a whole lot of stuff and right. they are coming up with an invention where um you blow in a thing in order to check whether or not you have the virus yay 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 <laughs> you know and, and it's like i'm american i'm done yeah, yeah. because the thing about it is that i find it so annoying just to have something in your nose okay. sticking in your nose and sticking in your throat right. it is very annoying but i can understand they need to test the fluids because i was sitting with my partner and i was like no something is wrong so why can't they just do a blood test and then we were really talking about it and then um you know here we get a lot of information it's not like america with the media no the media all this all, all everything comes on the media here and that is why i have got stuck in this country and love this country so much is because everything is given out media is not being um you know they don't put a lap on media they tell you everything okay so um that was just so beautiful and um um Tay U Delp is one of the most um it is it, it it is um they um engineer a lot of things a lot of things in the world a lot of people are not aware of that it was all developed and invented in Holland and come right. from Dutch Dutch inventors. Okay, mm -hmm. so they are inventing, and 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 I was like, thank the Lord, because mm -hmm. trust me, I was praying, <laughs> I was praying. No, seriously, I was yeah, praying. Yeah. It's nothing like washing your nose or no. I don't want anyone sticking in. My, it's it's uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable. So that. thank God, um, we are coming up with it. It's gonna take a while, but they have been testing it. And it's just like you blow for like um a alcohol um test and you mm. blow so um you know again um mm. you know I'm, I'm i'm you know i i am really really happy that the dutch came out with that yeah. so another thing i want to clear up and ken i love you to death <laughs> I'm done. i swear i love you Ken. done to death and i should say um and i'm doing this for kent whoever um was thinking about the uh, pyramid healing thing i bought one from kent it is amazing it is amazing and uh, uh but kent uh, um kent i love you but the king and queen and and his kids went to vacation yesterday to greece right. yeah so um yeah they're still alive <laughs> so um yeah i live here i know here i'm a dutch citizen so um I, I don't know because yeah we are on shutdown and um they took their plane and went to um greece and then <laughs> all uh, all of holland started to curse that yeah we are on, on shutdown and then the king and his family went to greece and then they flew back right. so ladies and gentlemen um, some of you might think, yeah, she's so, no, I love this country for a reason. And the reason is that whenever um, someone like the king, he flew back. So that is saying a lot. So Kent, I love you. I love you dearly. But um, I, yeah, we saw him on, on, on television. I don't, I don't think they're a clone. Um, I saw him on television and they flew back from Greece because they, they flew to Greece yesterday for vacation. And then someone told the media and then they came back and apologized. He apologized. Mm -hmm. The king, ladies and gentlemen, apologized. OK, right. so this is the type of person. Um, and this is why I love this culture so much. And, um, you know, they they are real. They keep they keep it real. And that is what I love. So it's not. Right. Polished by the media and that sort of a thing. So that that is another thing. But Kent, I love you, darling. But I don't know. I saw them yesterday on the news. I don't know if they're clone, but it looks like Prince Phelps because we call him Prince Phelps. So, right. Okay, I love you, Kent. I have nothing. So I'm sending you a lot of love. And right. Dr. McGee is back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can realize what is happening and transpiring is because people who are doing good for humanity 
um, they are the one that is being attacked at this moment. Um, so that's why we're doing um, this um, this series, keeping yeah. it real, because right. it's about keeping it real and it's about helping people, people mm -hmm. who are losing it because at this moment you know i would you know we were we we are constantly together um we're going to be having majestic eye princess she was busy today so that's why she's not here so um um the viewers that was looking for majestic eye princess but she will be um here next time so right. um um you know zeke yeah. Uh, you know, you and I have been on this journey for such a long time, and right. um, we have been going through so much um, situation because you have done the test for the virus. Right, right. I, that, I, I, that that was pretty rough. I um, I had to do it for work for work purposes, so um, I was unaware of what I was going to experience. I went through um, a uh, a medical facility, but it was drive through and it was outside. So I gave my information. Um, I signed a piece of paper. I think I believe it was a waiver. Then I drove around, and the doctor actually stuck. I don't know. It's, it was like a a a uh, medical utensil, like six feet, stuck it up my nose, and it reached the bottom of my cranium, and she scraped it. And then my eyes just went with like uh, filled with water. And then you know I was had I kind of had to keep myself tense, but. Um, then they put it in a plastic tube and she told me I'll get my results in two or three days. But, but what the way it felt, it felt like she touched the back of my, my cranium, my brain, you know, the tissue through my nose. So it was, it was pretty rough. It was, it was so uncomfortable. You know, I've never experienced anything like that before. So I'd rather take the, uh, the, the, the breathing tube that, that, um, Holland is, you know, is starting to, um, so many, uh, yeah, great. yeah, they're 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 on in the testing bus and they're going to be creating that. And I think that that is uh, that is so much better because it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. And I I can't imagine kids and old people are going through that sort of a thing because I'm telling you that sort of a thing is very uncomfortable. And the thing about it is that these strains that is coming up, if only people will say I do not give any consent to the strain because a whole lot of people are just. Uh, it's becoming tenser and tenser and tenser. Right. And the thing about it is that everyone was saying, um, yeah, President Trump, and he's going to give other people and the rest of it and the rest of it. But the problem is, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, um, that's not Trump. That is a clown. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, everybody is saying, oh, he's lying and this and this and that. It's a, it's a clone. Do you understand what it is? It's, it, it's the shell of someone, but it's not the soul of the person. Okay. It's right. a clone. It's this clone. Mm -hmm. um, most government leaders have been cloned. It is not the first time. It has always been happening. We're just uh, aware of what is transpiring. And the thing about it is that I was looking at this thing because they were saying, oh, he lied because this and this and that and the rest of it. And they were talking about Trump and ex Esteen. But ladies and gentlemen, I have done research and I'm going to tell you, you have to go to the guts and the deep um, to find out because you know people when they're lying. In order for mm -hmm. Trump to know what Epstein was up to the island and that sort of a thing, he has to be, be become friends with him, okay? Oh, no. That's how you get the valued information and that's how um, you, you, you have to go inside of right. that old thing in order to connect with the people and see what is going on to realize that it is true and this is me when i'm doing research because all the time i i was in florida from 2017 right, right. Back into 2019 mm -hmm. trust me all the people that connected to me i know what they were up to so i you know that's it you have to connect with people in order to understand what is happening and seeing what is the network. So he's not lying. He is a clone. So right. things that you're asking him and he's saying, yeah, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. It's not that he's lying, ladies and gentlemen. It's that he is a clone. Right. He is a clone. So the real Trump, because the real Trump has it's not been good. out for a quite, time, uh, quite a long time um, because... Uh, um, they have to put the clones because they're killing off the clones because they wanted to kill Trump. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, just try and, and understand that um, he's not lying. 
The media puts it up as if he's lying, but he's not lying because he's a, he's, he's a clone. So what? who Trump knows and whatever that was happening and transpiring before 2020, <clears throat> that's not, um, he's not lying. He's saying the truth. I don't know anything about that because I, am, I don't know anything. He, he doesn't have the soul of Trump because everybody saw the picture with Epstein and Trump, yes. He had to connect to the people in order to see the network. And who is the big fish, ladies and gentlemen? Because trust me, that's why they nearly killed me in Florida. Because I wanted to find out who was the big fish and who was the head of a criminal corporation. So right. here, I have my eyes for it. Because ladies and gentlemen, I'm very healthy. And there's nothing would have transpired with me. And having this eye problem is because they know that I knew who they all was. And I have put all of the pieces of the puzzle together. So trust me, you have to go deep in order to get the information and in order to link the people together. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here and I'll still be going. I'm a cat and I have every <laughs> life. You come after my life again and we're going to see it because this is a spiritual warfare where we're dealing with right now. Never you touch me and especially my sight. So back mm. the fuck up now. Now yep. let's move on. <laughs> Um, so, um, you know, and, and this is it, Zeke, because uh, a lot of people are throwing out and they're saying this and they're saying that, and, right. um, people are not keeping it real. People oh, are oh, just oh, not oh. keeping it real. And, right. and this is the situation, but it's transpiring is that if we were advised because the, I did the video in 2019 and they all knew that the virus was going to, there are people who knew about it, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, and I, because we saw the vision, and if you are a good um, um, person right. who works um, under the energy of prophecy, okay? Mm -hmm. So people can read and, and they can say, oh, well, um, you know, this is a timeless reading. No, it's BS, okay? <laughs> Okay, it is BS. I know only people who were brought of um um, drew, um you know born on the yeah. prophecy. Um, you have yeah. to born on the, the um um the date of birth, the timeline, and that is what you use your um you, they call it your uh, your divine part as right. a prophecy. That is on the readings that is timeless, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of people will do a lot of things in order to get points, in order to get, um, you know, credits and right. people. And no, I do, I do what I do because I want to educate people, not not because I want twenty thousand or a hundred thousand viewers. No, I do what I do because I want to educate people and help people to understand that what they're going through. They, nothing is wrong with them. It's just um, what is transpiring and how it's affecting them on this planet. So I keep it real, ladies and gentlemen. And as anyone knows me and my friends and, and thing, I keep it real because I don't have any time for BS. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand because as Zeke said, Zeke, because, you know, you and I, we were talking and, I, you know, because um, Zeke, I've been mentoring Zeke and that sort of a thing. And we have right. been, um, mentoring each other, to be honest, because I don't think I know everything because I don't know everything. But what happened is that uh, I, I have higher wisdom and knowledge, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, Zeke is my going to man when I really want to, to clearly see something because um, the worst thing you can do as a reader or as a psychist is to look at yourself because trust me, um, it's like, um, a shoemaker in shoes is never good right. because uh, um, we can't uh, see ourselves. So I'm, I'm like, and I'm someone, I'm very analytic and I'm listening to what you say and I'm going back and I'm like, and Zeke is my call up man, okay? Mm -hmm. Because he keeps it real. And right. that is what I like about people. I don't like people, um, you know, bullshitting and having a mask up. I don't have a mask. I don't even wear makeup, okay? So, um, you know, I keep it real as, as well. And I think that if people try to 
take on just keeping it real you're going to be seeing how less issues pressures stress you're in because you just get it out when it's hitting you and that's it so zeke how do you see these coming months um coming up um i think what you just said is, is very uh very smart very clear um i even stress stress is a silent killer yeah so, that's what i've been going through yeah yeah so uh, i mean i think you're very right um I hope all all ladies and gentlemen who's who's listening support you, you know, give you positive love and energy. But um, the cover months, I see if you're not balanced. I think everything has to do with your frequency and your balance and your perception of life. If you're not seeking truth, you might get swept up in the you know like the media per se. The uh, especially in the, in the West America, the media paints a picture for you subconsciously if you're not looking for the truth itself. Yeah. So. Depending on you know the uh, the next couple of weeks, the the events with the election, who's in seat, um, can can be chaotic. And in, in a sense, I'm thinking it's going to be chaotic. But if you you know if you stand in your truth, you stand in your love, you uh, you manifest. Even if you don't know how to manifest, you create a thought that you're yeah. going to be you know safe from the 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 the, the virus. Um, that you're not going to come in the harm's way. That you're going to you know. Um, interact with your friends and family and loved ones very positively and very lovingly and then you know you just you, you go we're going to ride this shift of this frequency through the chaos if you know how to balance yourself and keep yourself very like focused like even with a horse they have to wear those blinders sometimes yeah. so if you put the blinders on and you're able to navigate the 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 chaos that may be coming based on people's fears because a lot of times that's how the media uh, uh can manipulate you based on your fears so they don't use what you love or positivity or the, or the higher frequencies they lose use your fears so i think as long as uh you know people can uh be able to move through those type of energies you know they'll be safe but secure so i think a lot of people should go and listen to in the 5d um because um you and i both listen to it um and um you know their 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 information is accurate and what i love about uh, um dr sam is back and what i love about that is that she's asking question and she's getting the opinion of another person so it is not as if they are saying this is the law this is what is happening no and right. this is what I've always said to people. You can listen to me, but you need to go and do research for yourself right. because that's how um, Ze Zeke and I, I said, Zeke, do your research. Come back. I will tell you if it's true or it's not true. Okay. I was blessed with the wisdom and knowledge of having certain information that not other people have. Right. And the reason why is because people, are in, people would have used it in the wrong way. And, and as I said to a lot of people, I am not of this planet, okay? Mm -hmm. I come here in and volunteer in order to help people to bring back love and light. Uh, my frequency is 33.6, and 33.6 is um, the Ascendance Masters because I'm working through the energy of the Ascendance Masters in order to move order and become um, a guiding angel and an angel. So uh, this is my last lifetime on this planet. And, right. you know, I, sometimes, Zeke, we're talking and you said, oh, my God, you have gone through so much things. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I look at a lot of people who want to be me. And trust me, you don't want to be me. No, they don't. Because uh, um, what I've gone through, a lot of people would be sitting down in some sort of a institution, picking out their airs out of their heads. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. seriously. I, no. I mean, you know, you, Frank, you know, Zeke, yeah. you know all that I've gone through. When, you know, when it comes to family, when it comes mm -hmm. to just people just uh, um, hating on me. Right. It's like this. Uh, th there is a sick person that keep on calling my number. And um, then I wake up this morning and um, and the, the, I got another crazy ass number on my phone and I know exactly who the person is. And let me tell you something. You think that this is a joke? The joke is over. Okay. The joke is over. Because where the two numbers are coming from, 
I know exactly who is connected to that two number. The joke yeah. is over because what you thought was a joke nearly take my life. And the joke is now over. Now you stop, okay? Because I'm going to make you stop. Mm. You know, and this is it. People are just weird. And you, yeah. you can walk away from people and you let things go and you walk away and you move on. And then they come back with some sort of a BS. Yeah. You know, and I'm thinking, don't you realize that you're flipping? Because if I don't um, want to con communicate with you and I right. don't want to be connected with you, that is a reason that I don't want to clear any karmas with you, okay? Right. And people are flipping out. And I think a lot of people need to drink water. And mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, whenever you see someone just flips out at you, just send them pure love and light because uh, it's not... It's not, you know, it's not something that you are doing is that they're freaking out because the frequency and their energies, because ladies and gentlemen, the only one that will survive this is the people who are honest, open and upright and trust right. all of the people that have been lying and deceiving and cheating from other people and living off other people energies and their abilities and their work. They're going to be falling. Okay. Right. You're staying in the three, the, the three dimension, right. and you know it is so sad. And I'm I'm looking at it, and um, my partner said, "Okay, we are now ten thousand people," but I, and I'm like, "No, honey, I just can't believe the numbers. I just I don't know why, but there is just something. There is some. I am questioning this thing, right. and we are worried and." Uh, um, and that, that is why I know that they're speaking the truth is because everything here is open. We don't have um, any false media. Mm -hmm. We don't have false media. Right, right. Trust me, the, um, um, the president was having a speech and everyone could be in the Tinder typing and, you know, could be mm -hmm. saying what they, what they, this is a liberal culture. And I think this is what I've been always saying is that if America can just take one page out of the book of us, um, that, right. um, um, you know, we, you know, a lot of changes would be much better in America. And I think that this is where Trump is going. And this is where, and, you know, a lot of people are saying, but, you know, to be honest, what the, what, what, what the BS have ever Biden done? Hmm? <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I don't know. Where did he come from? Um, you know, and, 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 you know, seriously, what, what this president has done, none of the president, because the one before right. we thought that he would have saved black people. Did he save any of you black people? Colored people, I should say? No. no. Okay. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this shift needs to happen. This shift was supposed to happen on um, uh, 9, 9, uh, 9 11. And they knew that on the day of 9 11, um, Jacera right. and Nasera was going to be returned. And right. they did it. Mm -hmm. They did it. So, ladies and gentlemen, get, uh, you know, just wake right. up. Wake right. up. Wake up, ladies and gentlemen. Because this month of October is when things is going to be start shifting. And when I'm saying shifting, it's going to be shifting in such a powerful way that you, ladies and gentlemen, you're, you're going to be like, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we have about begin the shift on the 1st of October when the full moon, okay? Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, um, I really know that I'm not from this planet. Um, first of October was when I did my operation. Nobody should do an operation on a full moon. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that <should> don't work. <laughs> full moon. <laughs> you know, and, and, and that is what a lot of people do not understand. The cosmo, the planets, have connected with us. And... Um, we need to understand that, that there is also not only four elements, but there is six elements. There's plasma and there's yeah. lightness. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's magnet and plasma. So we need to start to educate ourselves and bring in new things and, and, and understanding this process. And you need to drink a lot of water, ladies and gentlemen, water. Not the sodas, water. The sodas rot your brain out, okay? Yep. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, and and really, like Frank and I always say, lemonade, okay? Because yeah. down sound people, they don't have blood pressure because they drink a lot of lemonade. Mm -hmm. um, water and lemon, um, ladies and gentlemen, is the best thing. Um, ginger, have a lot of ginger, like um, ginger, um, whatever that, mm -hmm. we have ginger ale. What was that now? Um, which state of, um, is it Texas? But it's some, it's some drink with ginger. Start drinking gingers, ladies and gentlemen, okay? You need to balance out. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing that is good to build the immune system is noni juice, N-O-N-I. You need to drink. It, it doesn't taste good. I t I'm telling you the God's truth. I had mine this morning. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't taste good, but trust me, it it, 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 ref it flushes your yeah. system, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you need to drink fever grass uh, um, tea, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of people... And um, the Chinese have this green tea with lemon and that sort of thing. Green tea is also good. Um, so, you know, keep on, you know, get off the sugars. The sugars is what is making you guys flip out, okay? Right. right. Can I tell them a story that I've seen? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, so I was I was on the interstate, right? I was driving and we was at, a, uh, it's like five o'clock traffic. So I think the lady beat the horn at a young girl and she was in the car with some of her friends. The young girl jumps out the car, runs up to the lady, was like, what you want to do? You don't blah, 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 you know, use a profanity. And then it's a little poodle that's like outside of it. She slapped the poodle. <laughs> <laughs> and told the lady back up. And I was just like, the poodle, I was just like, they tripping. They over there tripping. They, 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 they start circling for real. I, it's a five o'clock trap. Everybody looking. I was like, oh my God. What is going on here? And then they just got back in the car, drove off. I was like, what? Short circuit. In Netherlands, we said, the sport need. Exactly. <laughs> that right there. That. Man, serious. She slapped the poodle. Slapped the poodle. Taste out of his mouth. <laughs> And she had, and she had, uh, she had orange on for Halloween for the month of October. She had like orange fingernails, and I'm like, I just couldn't believe I seen it. No, but 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 this is what I'm saying, Zeke. This is what I'm saying. This 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 month of of October bring in the crazy. Yeah. No, seriously, seriously, and. This month of October bring in the crazy because the first of October was a full moon. Right. We have two full moon in October, and this is why, you know, I'm I'm here on with you because a lot of people are not aware of what is going on because people get ready because we are about to open and open up the eyes of what yeah. is happening and transpire. Because if you go back to my eleven eleven video. Um, last year, 2019, I told you that dark times was coming up. I was telling you about the virus. December, the virus it, and this is it, ladies and gentlemen. You have to listen what I said and listen between the lines because I'm giving out information. But because this has to be carried through third parties, I can't give you the real thing. Right. Go buy my book, ladies and gentlemen. They're trying to block the book. Um, and and but find the book, it's on my website. Go buy it, mm -hmm. read the book, it will help you. Because the problem is that uh, this month of October is bringing in a powerful ship. It mm -hmm. is on October 31st, is the second full moon of the month of October. October 31st is the second full moon of. Um, this year. So it's two full moon in mm. one month and it's in October. The right. 31st of October is Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And um, if you notice the days of the holidays, the American, um, um, American holidays, it is not only American holidays, but for the Spanish people, um, the Lyra, mm -hmm. it is the day of uh, the dead. Yeah. So a lot of people do not celebrate Halloween because they know it is the day when all the freaks comes out, okay? <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, because um, it is when 
um, the the wolves, uh, the the vampires, right. and that right. sort of thing. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to this, okay? Because some we got to educate ourselves, and this program is about educating ourselves and keeping it real. These um um whatever they are that you're saying that it is um uh it is not um it is not real vampire um that mm -hmm. sort of thing is real it is it is real okay? yeah mm -hmm. it is real right 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 all right so right. um whoever wants to say um it is real ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. we never get this message um because it is for a reason it is real mm -hmm. uh, one percent or less of humanities are vampires and werewolf mm -hmm. you don't know that but yeah. i'm telling you that okay so you gotta understand not all of us is humans ladies and gentlemen okay so we enter inter um inter race with yeah. um other species okay mm -hmm. And uh, that is what, because remember in the days of Atlantis, uh, that was what has transpired is that uh, um, they start to merge animals and humans. And that's where God said the plan, that was not the plan. And that's right. why Atlantis sank. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to be aware and be awakened because everything they told us from Disney right back, that sucker is not uh, um, myth of soul. It's mm. real. Okay? Mm. Only that they give it to you in different, different ways. If you look at all, um, all football field in the world, mm -hmm. how does the top of the football field open? They open like that. The high. Right, right. What is it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you the truth is always in the plain sight. You mm. gotta wake up, ladies and gentlemen, because this October, especially after the 31st, and you can meet us here on the 31st, we are going to be having our, because of the time difference, um, mm. we're coming with all four, and we're going to be having an olive wheel. And, and, and I, you know, I must say to you, um peaches you really don't like halloween but you want to be with us thank you so much peaches i love you so much so we're having an halloween special and i want to bring it live i hope to bring it live and all four of us is going to be here celebrating halloween and the thing about it is that uh, um everyone who was born on the 31st of october okay um you are going to be going through a ship from the 31st of October from your birthday you are going to be going through a ship so if you were born on the 31st of October and the day of uh, yeah Halloween for America but uh, um, for the Spanish the Lyrans the day of the death um, mm -hmm. for the other for the rest of the world is the day of the death mm -hmm. um, ladies and gentlemen something huge something shift is going to be coming in something powerful where a lot of people are going to be dying Mm. okay so it can be a huge swift of the COVID that is coming in and if you notice um this second shift comes from september end of september coming in um to october so ladies and gentlemen brace yourself because you're about to go on a roller coaster ride and this roller coaster ride is going to be powerful so you have to hold on and a lot of people are going to be losing it and this is what i'm saying to you whoever is out there and is living alone find someone that can check in on you every day find someone who can check in on you every day whatever is happening and transpiring and you're alone find a girlfriend find a friend someone go and and you know it, it, it is time that people and family reconnect and go and live in one house on the one roof so you can protect each other ladies and gentlemen um um, a roller coaster ride is about to begin. Yeah, I have been feeling it. I've been um, saying, Zeke, you know, you know, don't you feel the energies? Do you remember when um, 2017, when we um, had that huge full moon? Um, and yeah. I said, Zeke, mm -hmm. th th this this is powerful. Yeah. I said, Zeke, something is about to happen. I said, Zeke, yeah. um, 
the way the moon was so close to the heart. Yeah. yeah, that was abnormal, right? That was so abnormal, eh? So abnormal, yeah. And in that year, we have like three shootings in America because we had um, Fort Lauderdale because the first time I've ever um, traveled to Fort Lauderdale is when I was going to the islands on the 1st of August with my girlfriend. She flew from Atlantics, Atlanta, and I flew, uh, I drove down to uh, Fort Lauderdale. Before that, I will never, even when my mom, I said, no, mom, I don't know. There's something about the airport. No, I don't. I just... And I will fly from Holland and I'm checking on my flights to fly to Florida. Fort Lauderdale, so cheap. I'm like, hell no, I don't want to fly. And right. what happened after the full moon? Um, the shoot up where the guy had a huge shoot up in Fort Lauderdale um, airport. And I was like, Lord, thank you. You were saving me. Because I never ever, I, and I listened to my interview, uh, intuition and I said to a lot of people, you need to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is what guides you. That is what it was given to. Don't listen to me. Go check out the stories. Go check out what happened. Then in the summer of 2017, what happened in Las Vegas? Uh, another shooter. Okay. Where are the bodies? I haven't been. Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. many shoot? Okay, um, was it 2018 or 2017 that the shooting in um that school in Florida? So, ladies and gentlemen, because the moon was so the moon was too, and I remember I said Frank something is I said Frank, and a month later mm -hmm. was the shooting, and I was like Frank, I'm outside talking to you, and the moon is too close. It's too. It's like mm -hmm. I can reach out reach and it. touch it. Mm -hmm. It was too close, and this is what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen. Because I went back and looked at the video as when I gave this about the virus was going to be coming in. But what they show me, it was not something to frighten people, but they were showing me this mask and that it was going to be going on until 2023. That is what I get. That this is going to be going on until 20, from now till 2023. So mm. as of um, the 31st of October, you got to hold on tight, ladies and gentlemen, mentally, physically, all this. Hold yeah. on tight because mm. the transition that is coming in, you can feel it as you walk outside. You can feel it as you're outside. You can feel it. You can see it is good to listen to a lot of music in this time and especially let go of the worries, ladies and gentlemen. Let it go. A lot of people are just thinking, sitting down, thinking about the virus. Don't think about this bloody virus. Just said, mm -hmm. I need you to go. You're just uh, intervening in my space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just stop thinking about this virus. Just do your protection. Do your mask up. Find someone who make the mask. Made mm -hmm. in America. Made in the Netherlands. Made in France. Mm -hmm. Made in England not made in China, and I am not taking this back. We need to make things for ourselves now because that is what has been killing us, okay? So um, you have to be aware, ladies and gentlemen, find a mask, okay? I, I have my mask because I had to go to the city all in the week. I have my mask. I have a red one, and my mother-in-law made it for me, okay? Mm -hmm. So... That's nice. There you go. My mother-in-law made it for me. That's and nice. I, I I had to go to the city hall. So I had to have the mask. Um, please mm. listen um to yourself and listen, people I know. And what I'm asking, there has to be someone who is listening to me, who is an innovator. Um since this, we have to wear masks and we don't know how long, we have to think about the whole people, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And if we, we could get um, like a plastic thing, mm -hmm. I see a lot of people are having them, a yeah. plastic thing with an elastic that is around here so that old people can breed, okay? Some people have some sort of a sickness that they can't also breed properly. All I'm saying, someone needs to invent it. It's like a plastic and then the blue strap that keeps it over. Not everyone can wear these masks because if you have a breathing problem or you have some sort of a thing, it, it's going to block your thing from breathing. So all I'm saying, wear the mask, but someone out there, because I know a lot of people um, watch my program, 
um, and you people know who you are, um, there has to be um, like a plastic mark because old people by the time, because I, I was walking from um, the city hall and I saw an old lady and she stopped. And I said, are you okay? I said, And she said, yeah, my friend. She said, yes, my friend, I'm just tired. And she had a mask on and I'm thinking, yeah, we have to do something about this, okay? Um, so, you know, it is understandable um, what is happening, but even if you put that plastic thing, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? And they can have different blue straps or yellow strap because you just need to have like a plastic like this and then you have the strap. Um, so whoever out there, um, you know, and don't make it expensive, <laughs> you know, because, you, know, you know, it's plastic. So all the plastic, because we, we can't get rid of plastic. So, you know, like the hats that people used to wear and it has the, the head open, they can just make, you know, for older people, it, it's, it's going to be good. Um, Zeke, is there anything you want to touch on at this moment? Oh, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm with you. Uh, I think we we touched on everything, and uh, you know, hopefully everybody tunes in uh, when we do the next show. Yeah, because um, we really need that, ladies and gentlemen. The day of the dead mean a lot, okay? And um, this is going to be a weird year.